What is up guys, Cajun here, and today I wanted to talk about this whole Phase Jarvis thing, Fortnite bull bullshit cheating thing that people are having a debate about for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why they're having a debate about it. It's 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 pretty clear um that he he should be banned for forever. Um so yeah. Um let let's go over what happened, shall we? So FaZe Jarvis is a content creator for FaZe. He makes Fortnite videos and basically that's it. He's not a pro player, he just makes content. A couple days ago, he makes an alt account runs Fortnite on a new PC um, so that he can cheat, uses aimbot and walls or whatever. I think it was just aimbot um, to cheat and to quote-unquote troll people. Now, a lot of you... Um, a lot of you... <laughs> Um, play critical ops, so you know how aggravating cheaters are. Granted, this was just in casual Fortnite, it wasn't in arena or anything. So he was just, you know, wrecking some noobs, right? Well, a couple days later, he gets permanently banned from Fortnite, his main account, every account he has. Which, I don't know, in my opinion, is, is correct, but... I mean, let, let, let's keep going. So he makes a video saying he's been banned and all, and, and cries and bitches and complains about it. Um, meanwhile, everyone's having this debate on whether he should be permanently banned or not, because these two other guys, uh, Ziff was one of them, and I can't remember the other guy's name, they cheated in Fortnite World Cup qualif qualifiers. However, th they didn't have aimbot. They were teaming... For kills and stuff. Now, I will give it to people that are arguing this topic that they should not have been able to qualify for the World Cup. They got a 14-day ban. They still somehow qualified for the World Cup. Obviously, they weren't good enough because Booga won and everything. So, whatever. Um, but they got a 14-day ban. I do think that they should have been banned from the qualifiers as well. Or they should have been banned until qualifiers were over. But that's not me. That's epic. Um, hacking, on the other hand, or, or installing cheat software to lock onto targets and demolish them is fucked up. Because you gotta think about it. Who plays Fortnite? Mostly kids... Or people that just want to play a casual game of Fortnite that just want a fair game. And then you come into the lobby and you wreck, you know, however many people, you know, say, say you get 20, 30 kills in that game with aimbot. Those 30 people are going to have a shitty time because someone hacked and someone cheated. I need to stop using the word hack, but because someone cheated. And you think... You know, and then you're going to bitch and complain a couple days later and cry and whine in front of your camera that you got banned for no good reason? That you, you don't deserve to be permanently banned? Dude, fuck off. Go to another game. You sh if, if you didn't want to be banned, you shouldn't have cheated. And you shouldn't have uploaded the video to your channel. Like, and, and that that's probably the reason he got permabanned, because not only did he cheat, I think if he cheated, he would have gotten maybe, you know, a week ban, two week ban, um, but he willingly uploaded that video, or he deliberately uploaded that video for content, exposing his 2 million subs, plus whoever else saw it, to cheating software. And then, again, think who plays Fortnite kids mostly kids and so these kids are gonna think you know that looks pretty fun that looks pretty cool and so they're gonna get cheat software and they're gonna cheat and then they're gonna get banned and then 
what what what's gonna happen when those kids cry and complain or when those kids get banned for something that they saw Jarvis do and that they saw was a good idea and was cool because Jarvis did it I think he deserves to be punished to the full ex extent which Epic has done a permanent ban lifetime ban i don't think he deserves to play fortnite again because he cheated you know he broke terms of service you know it's it and again people are like well ziff and that other guy yeah they didn't break terms of service did they cheat the rules yes but i'm sure next year epic is going to well Okay, they already had rules on it, but they're going to try and enforce that more, probably. I don't know. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. I figured I'd make a video on this because it does pertain to us in a certain way. Because, you know, we... Or it, 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 it's, it doesn't pertain to us, but we, um, we have that, that connection. And... We have that experience with cheats and, and hackers and, and stuff like that. Um, that we we get shit on, even you know in the in casual lobbies and stuff like that. Uh, and then it makes critical ops not as fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, do you think Jarvis should be banned permanently? If not, how long? if at all because some people think he don't he doesn't deserve to be banned at all because it wasn't a competitive game mode in my opinion that's fucked up um i don't care if it's in a competitive game mode he still had the cheat software what makes you what 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 says that he didn't go into a competitive game mode after the camera was off and cheat in there so who knows um we'll see what happens um but again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.